Greetings from the Scholarship Lounge at SB Ballard Stadium, home of Old Dominion University football. I'm Ted Alexander. The subject today is reseeding. A lot of folks have gotten packets in the mail talking about reseeding. A lot of folks have questions, and to provide the answers, we go to the Senior Associate Athletic Director for Development at Old Dominion, Mark Benson from the Old Dominion Athletic Foundation. First and foremost, this whole reseeding thing is an opportunity to folks to get further involved with ODU football. Yeah, that's right, Ted. I think since we started football in 2009, uh, we've sold out through season tickets every year and I think we've done such a good job saying we're sold out uh, that the average person thinks they can't get involved with football through season tickets. Uh, this is a great opportunity for those folks who have not yet purchased season tickets to get involved as well as folks that are renewing their season tickets perhaps they had two, want to add four because we're reseeding the stadium here at SB Ballard Stadium based off uh, all everyone's new ODAF pr uh, priority point total. So tell me how the reseeding formula works. If you give the most you get the first pick type of thing? Pretty much, uh, you know, we did a lot of research when we did our priority point system. This is the same system we use in, in men's and women's basketball. It's the same system we use when we did the initial seating here at SB Ballard Stadium. So it does look at your lifetime giving. Uh, it looks at your current annual gift to ODAF, and you have to be a current ODAF member to qualify for priority seating. Uh, donors get credit for consecutive year season tickets, whether it's football, basketball. They get credit for consecutive years giving. Uh, we have a referral program, the Power of One. So if you refer us a new member through ODAF, they reference Ted Alexander signed me up on their sheet. Uh, Ted gets bonus points in the priority point system. We have a championship ring program where, uh, with, with football, soccer, and field hockey. Um, folks have an opportunity to help purchase a, a ring for one of our student athletes uh, and get priority bonus points uh, for, for doing that. So there's several different components that go into the priority point system, but basically whoever has the highest point total will choose first and will work our way down uh, till all the season tickets are, are, are no longer available. Let's talk to new Monarch fans for a moment, those that are just catching Monarch fever and they want to become a member of the Old Dominion Athletic Foundation. How do they do that? What's the first step they need to take? Uh, best thing to do is to go online at www.olddominionaf Uh, our brochure is posted online, our benefit chart is posted online. In this year's brochure, uh, we designed it so hopefully someone who is new to the program, who's never bought a season ticket, who's never made a gift, can pick it up read through it, get all the information that they need uh, to figure out how to purchase season tickets, how to join ODAF. Of course, we're all always available in the office. Our, our line, main line is 757-683-6963. So again, either at online at www.olddominionaf.com or, or through the office. So when people make that step and they become members of ODAF, what's the next step? How do you guys or when do you guys cut things off and determine, all right, now we're going to make our lineup? Yeah, that's a good question. The deadline is April 15th, both for ODAF, and we need 100% of the pledge. So we didn't know in 2013, what is your total gift to ODAF going to be at that point, whether it's $1,000, $2,000, $10,000, and we need 50% payment by that deadline. Uh, same thing with the season tickets. You have to purchase your season tickets, put your order in by April 15th, and we match those two factors up in our priority point system, and then uh, we will begin uh, letting folks choose seats, it'll be May 14th is our target date to, to start that process. In the end of April, uh, donors will get notification of their date and their time for seat selection. Let's keep this in mind. A couple things play into uh, come into play here. First of all, lots and lots of universities across the nation do this exact same thing, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, when we implemented our priority point system, w which has been in place for at least 10 years now, uh, I believe we, we implemented moving into the TED. Uh, we did research not only in our peer institutions and in, in our conference, but we did, we looked at schools that we want to be like when, when we have a, a bigger fan base, a greater following, which we've done. And so we, we planned ahead in the future and tried to design a system that would be as fair as possible to as many of our season ticket holders and donors. It rewards longevity, rewards loyalty, but of course recognizes uh, when people make a greater investment in ODU athletics, they're rewarded, rewarded through that through their priority points. One of the other things that comes into play is supply and demand. 20,000 seats, gorgeous facility, Monarch's best startup football program ever. You've got a waiting list of season ticket holder wannabes that is thousands long. This is how they can move up in that list. A absolutely. Um, Um, you know, the community has been fantastic in the response to ODU football as well as they have in, in men's and women's basketball. And we have about 4,500 people on a wait list. Uh, in, in effect, this year we're blowing up the wait list uh, because we're going to allocate seats uh, to, to everyone. They're available to everyone uh, this season. 
And so those people who are on the wait list, uh, they're going to get the information, should already have the information from ODAF and from our ticket office, and they'll have the opportunity, as would a person who's renewing their season tickets or renewing their ODAF gift, uh, to get involved this year. A couple other questions that have come into the ODAF website from folks a little bit confused about the reseeding thing. They've purchased season tickets in the past and want to buy more for 2013. Is that possible? Absolutely, that's, that's possible. Uh, the key thing to remember is and when you're looking through our uh, ODAF brochure, there's a benefit chart and there's a scale at, at your gift level how many priority seats you're able to purchase. So if somebody qualifies for a four and they had two last year, they can go ahead and order the four this year. Next question, can you inherit an ODAF member's priority points ranking? Uh, we do not uh, provide for people to inherit points. Um, in the past, we've had people that um, used to pool their gifts and maybe th two or three of us got together and went under Ted Alexander's name. Uh, we stopped that probably, I think it's five or six years ago, so we don't allow folks to inherit points uh, uh, anymore. Is there a way to s uh, select seats so you can sit next to your neighbors or your friends or your families? Yeah, actually that phone ring is probably one of your friends wanted so to sit together with you. Actually, they're calling the number we gave out earlier. <laughs> That's, That's right. Stuff. It's working. People are listening. So, you know, we, we provide for people to sit in groups. Uh, and what we do is we ask the ODAF members to contact our office and let us know uh, that these four or five, or in some cases we have a block of um, over 200 people that want to sit together in one of the end zones. And the way it works is uh, whoever is the highest, has the highest priority, everyone waits till the person with the lowest priority and they pick in succession um, so they're able then to, to sit together in a block. And when you determine the priorities come the special cutoff date. April 15th. April 15th. Date has a ring in it, doesn't it? <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's important for a number of reasons. Everybody will find out then where they rank and when they'll be uh, selecting their seats. It won't be actually April fifteenth, and, and it's that's April fifteenth does have a ring to it. It's a big tax day. We're a, we're a five hundred one c three nonprofit, so we can help alleviate anyone's tax issues they may have through a gift through ODAF. Uh, but notification will probably go out that last week of April. Um, we're going to publish that we intend to start the seat selection process uh, May 14th and it will run through most of May. That gives people a chance to kind of plan for the process and as in the past, uh, it's an online process, so people can go on online from home, work, vacation, wherever they may be. Um, they can send somebody in in their place to choose their seats. Uh, they can call us. There's a phone number that will come with your date, your time and, uh, of seat selection. Uh, they can come in person. We're going to be at the uh, Barry Cornblow Alumni Center. We're going to be set up like we have in the past. It's kind of like a voter registration booth. Uh, people can come in. So there's multiple ways to select seats. They can let us know, hey, I'd like the same seats I had last year if they're available or I'd like an aisle in section 105, whatever the case may be, and, and we'll be able to accommodate those. Where does the money the folks will give to the Old Dominion Athletic Foundation go? Well, it goes to support ODU Athletics, and it starts with scholarships. Um, we have a commitment to the university and the athletic department to provide approximately 40% of the athletic scholarship bill, which in 2012 was a little over $7 million. Uh, in our annual fund, we raised $3.4 million last year, so uh, that, that's the agreement we have. We also help uh, with capital campaigns, facilities, we help with retention, both you know, coaches, salaries, those kind of things, uh, travel needs, non-budgeted uh, needs for our sports-specific programs. So we, we support the athletic program in a variety of ways. Is there anything else, Mark Benson, you want to add to the ODAF members out there or the future ODAF members out there? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I just want to thank everyone for their support, not only of our football program since its inception, but all those who have supported the, the various sports that we have, whether it's a season ticket purchase, uh, an ODAF membership, a facility gift, or just their participation in games. So it starts with that. A big thank you to all those. And just a reminder that a great resource for information uh, for the April 15th deadline is www.oldaf.org. OldDominionAF.com for, for great, more information. There you have it. A little quiet out there right now at SB Ballard Stadium, but you know come fall, 20,000 plus will be out there rooting on that Monarch football team, and you want to be a part of it. Mark, thank you for the time. Thanks, Ted. Mark Benson, Senior Associate Athletic Director for Development and the Old Dominion Athletic Foundation. I'm Ted Alexander, reseeding the subject here on Monarch Media.